Give it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back. We're having a ranch day, but this is a special ranch day. We are going to time all of the horses against each other. Not all of them, but a lot of your favorites. It's going to be Chuck Norris, the Gray Mare, Vegas, Oakley Ray, Jesse's horse, and Cody on Knickknack. We're going to use our timers, and we're going to set up at a different arena and run all of them against each other just to see exactly where we are in practice. You can progress anything that you can measure. This is why I preach to you guys all the time that anything that you want to do or accomplish in life, if you will write it down, whether it be a fitness journey or if you want to save up a bunch of money or if you want to get out of debt, writing down where you are right now will help you get to where you want to be. Because until you can assess exactly where it is that you are, you can't get a roadmap together of where it is that you're going. I hope that these vlogs always pour into your day a lot of positivity and a lot of fun. Thank you so much for spending your time with all of us here. It means the world to us. If you love the vlogs, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. Also, don't forget to be subscribed and ding that notification bell. And you guys asked for it, it's finally back. We have made FT merch. You can get the hottest merch in the game. Head on over to FallonTaylor.com. We just launched these. We also did a lot of inspirational teas, um, like my podcast that I did with Ed Milet, where I talked about taking one step at a time, or why not me. We made t-shirts to go with every single one of those. Okay, it's time to get to practice. Let's go get sweaty. Seems very fast. on Cowboy Swagger, my OTTB that has entered in the Retired Racehorse Project. He has been doing so, so good. Now, I think what we're gonna do is focus on collection and just getting him really soft and balanced. Um, he started out a little bit insecure as he was getting faster around the barrels. So I've been giving him a break from the barrel pattern and just working on getting him a lot more trusting and soft and balanced. Um, just coming here, I think, change of environment. I don't think he had a rough past. I just think that changing environment was a lot for him coming from Oregon to here. So I've been just doing a lot to build our relationship together and teach him how to move a little bit more like a traditional barrel horse, which is using their hind end first, keeping low and collected, and then learning to accelerate off the turns really quickly. So we've been doing that with no barrels. He's been doing really great, and I will make sure and keep you guys updated in the future. Oh, hi guys, it's Sunday brunch. My big 
giant sweet girl. I know a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm gonna go to any jumper shows and go show her. <laughs> the answer is not right now, not until we get our Colts a little bit more solid. So I did look up some shows that I'll be going to, but if you guys remember my indoor arena was really hard for her to jump and land on. The ground just wasn't conducive to keeping her super sound. So I've just been letting her hang out and get turned out every day and play while we have the foals coming up and all of the colts. But this big, sweet, beautiful lady is gonna be shown very soon. I've got some jumper shows picked out for the fall especially. So we'll be getting in the routine a little bit more once Chuck, Chuck Norris, Vegas, and Oakley are just a little bit more seasoned then we'll start working back on she and I together as a team. But for the time being, she is a sweet, happy, playful girl that's just been enjoying her life here at the ranch. Okay, let's go check out on another one. You guys, it's bath salts. I know a lot of you guys remember way back in the day when there was a thousand dollar bounty on being able to catch bath salts. Here at the ranch, Cody's been putting some tuning on her and she lunges both ways. She loads in a trailer. She does all sorts of stuff. So she lives right here next to Chuck Norris. We call this his race car bed. He just likes to have a bigger stall with a bigger view of outside. That's just his vibe. And he loves having her as kind of a roommate living in his same apartment building. So here's cute, adorable little bath salts in her update. Mwah. Okay, let's go check on some more. <laughs> I know you want an update on Hefe. He's out here living his best life with Junus and Stud Muffin. He's really not been up to much other than just living his best life in retirement, eating all the grass that he wants, all the feed that he wants, and just enjoying his life out here. He and these other two little guys have a nice little shed that they go in to get out of the sunlight, and he's just been rolling in the mud, and Cody just got whipped by the donkey. <laughs> the little burrito. She thinks humans are for scratching. Hang on, there. Let me do that. I'll do that for you. Hey, listen up. Isn't that the cutest thing? She, she looks like donkey. Shrek. Yeah. Like donkey. Donkey. Mm. Let me see those teeth. So do teeth again. Hey, donkey. your favorite ranch animal that you saw today on the vlog below. I can't wait to meet you in the comments. We'll be checking it out. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure to go check out my inspirational rants every single day on at Fallon Taylor 2 on Instagram. Also be subscribed right here and turn those notifications on so that when I post, you're the first one to see it. Thank you guys so much for joining us for a ranch update. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. We'll see you next time.